All right, what's going on Instagram? Indigenous Rookie Cards, AKA Name. Another Sunday night edition of Indigenous Sundays coming at you here. Uh, and if you haven't noticed, I did get a haircut, so you don't gotta sue me now. Um, last time I got a haircut was probably like a month and a half ago, maybe two, coming up on two months anyway. It was in early August, but I uh, decided I'd better go get it done before it gets too long. And yeah, I, I like the way it turned out. Anyway, I uh, just wanted to come on here, give you a little update of what's going on in my world, um, go through some of my mail, and also talk about my card of the week. So, um, pretty quiet mail mail week. I got a couple cards in, but they were really nice. So I'll just I'll just show you them right now. Um, the first card that came in was uh, this Zach White Cloud 2018-19 um, The Cup Gold Rookie Auto, and this is out of 36. I think I paid like 36 bucks for this um, really fair price I think if I would have bought it like a week a week and a half earlier while the playoffs um, were still on for the Vegas Golden Knights that probably would have been uh, double for the price of that card so um, remember when you're buying cards it's all about timing um, I, I didn't want to buy any cards like Zach White Cloud cards during the playoff run just because I knew they would be a little on the higher end and I know where his price point should be. I've been collecting him long enough. And yeah, he did have a really a good playoffs. Um, he did get called up in February to join the, the main squad uh, from the AHL team. Um, so his cards were a little bit of, on an upswing, but not too much. Um, but I think he did really get a lot of notice during the playoffs and people can see that he can actually play. And hopefully next year he'll probably uh, be a regular on the team just show, um, just based on how he showed in the playoffs um, but yeah he isn't a part of my player collection so I I do have a Zach White Cloud collection if you haven't seen it I did post it on one of my earlier videos so if you get the chance to see it please check it out another card that came in was also Zach White Cloud and this is 2018-19 upper deck and this is a gold rainbow foil uh, this one here is fr is from Calm C so I picked this up for $24.99 and I bought it back in August, like probably right before the playoffs started. And I got a, a really good price on it. Um, the only thing was that it took a while before it actually went to shipping. And once it got into shipping, it took like three days to get here. So it was pretty awesome. And yeah, I, I really love this card. I love these gold rainbow foils. These are from EPAC. So if you can have a look and see all the coloring on it, the speckles, it's just really, really beautiful. Um, obviously don't know the print run on these, but these are pretty short printed just because of, of how you have to, how you have to get them. So um, this one's gonna be staying in my PC. And I'll, I know I might look for another one too. We'll see what happens in the meantime. Um, I do have two Brandon Montour uh, gold rainbow foils just like that. So you never know, I could pick it up. But yeah, that's my mail for the week. I really like Zach White Cloud. I've been collecting him since he um, joined the league and started getting hockey cards. Um, I mean, he's just a really solid D-man, um, can skate really well, sees the ice really well. And you know, my Zach White Cloud collection is, is building. Um, I do have another Zach White Cloud card coming in and it's a 2018-19 The Cup Gold Patch Auto. And I think that one is, that one's out of 24. So there's only 24 of them made. And as soon as that comes in, I'll share it with everybody. But my card of the day is this card here. This is a 2003-04 uh, Bowman Chrome Gold Refractor uh, Jordan Tutu. This is signed. Um, and this card is out of 50. So there's only 50 of these made. Uh, this is a really beautiful card. They're extremely hard to find. Um, this is the only one I've ever seen since I started collecting Tutu, since I started this collection back in 2014. I don't even remember seeing these back in 2003 or four when these came out. Um, I love this set, this Bowman Chrome set. It's really awesome. I think it's underappreciated. Someone made a post about it over the weekend and I was, and they were talking about how it needs to come back. And I was like, yes, 
that absolutely needs to come back because this is a really beautiful set. They're so well made. The auto on this has kept really well. It's 17 years old and the, the coloring on this is just, it's amazing. Like I, when I first got it, I couldn't stop staring at it just because of how shiny it was. And yeah, and being number to 50, it's, it's pretty sick. I don't have a regular version, like the base version of this, but I am looking for it, looking for the right price on this. I think I paid, I think I paid around 20, 25 bucks for this. So I didn't pay too much. And I thought it was more than fair. <laughs> And hopefully I'll find a regular version. And I know someone that has the out of five version, but they're holding on to that pretty tight because they're working on a master set. So, I mean, even if I come across that one, I would love to pick that up for my Jordan 22 collection. But anyway, that's just me just catching up for the week. I hope you enjoyed the videos. I want to thank you for, um, for following me. I almost said subscribe. This is not YouTube. Uh, but I want to thank you for following me on my Instagram page. I have over 1,100 followers. I do intend on doing a 1,000 follower giveaway, um, which will be coming up pretty soon. Uh, I just need to get around to doing it, that's all. And uh, hopefully give you guys something for, for following me, for supporting me. If you are a new follower, thank you very much. Um, I can't you know, say thank you enough to everybody. Like The messages that I get every week, um, people, you know, showing me love, showing my collection love, telling me how much they appreciate my page. I, I love that so much. And just the amount of kindness and uh, willingness to give from people, it's amazing because they want to contribute to this. And I, I just, I, when I started that collection, I never thought it would be something that people want to contribute to. And that's been pretty amazing. So thank you for that. Um, and thank you for the watching this video to the end if you have. Uh, some of them are pretty long. You know, seven, eight, nine minutes. So um, I'll catch you again next week. Um, make sure you hit the like button.